Meat Boy is back and today we are making Jamaican beef patties. Some of you may have seen these before. It's like an orange yellowish empanada and inside is this beef filling. And by no means am I making a classic Jamaican beef patty as there's some ingredients in there that don't agree with my liver. So I'm going to do my special version avoiding dairy, uh, too much calcium, other reasons, the eggs, egg whites aren't good for leaky gut, and I'm substituting some coconut fats for animal fats as the coconut fats have antimicrobial properties. So keep in mind, this is not a classic Jamaican beef patty. This is like an easy on your stomach, healthy Jamaican beef patty. It's still really delicious, and you guys should definitely try this out. For the filling, I have two pounds of 93.7 lean ground beef. Uh, we're gonna caramelize some organic onions. I have some seasoning blend. Uh, one is a roasted garlic and herb umami blend, and one is a regular umami seasoning. I'm gonna put the garlic and herb one in the empanada dough, or beef patty dough, and I'm gonna put the other umami seasoning in the actual beef patty mix, so we have a contrast of seasonings. Uh, we have coconut oil and coconut milk as the liquid base for the dough, just regular organic all-purpose flour, and then we're gonna put in a tiny bit of honey for sweetness and some salt with that seasoning to season the dough. The dough is easy, we're just gonna combine everything. For the filling, we're gonna do something special. So I'm gonna saute the onions with salt, then I'm gonna saute the ground beef with the seasoning separately. We're gonna reserve some of this raw ground beef, blend it with the sauteed onion to create like an emulsion, and then we'll mix that in with the cooked ground beef to have this kind of like nice filling that'll really uh, have a special texture to it. So let's get started on that. So onions in the pan, a bit of salt on them. For the dough, we have 450 grams of flour already in here. We're gonna add 200 grams of coconut oil, 230 grams of coconut milk, tiny pinch of salt. We want about two tablespoons of our roasted herb seasoning. Now I'm just gonna put a teaspoon of honey, a very small amount, just to bring out the flavors. A classic Jamaican beef patty uses animal fat as well as eggs, and for the seasoning, it's like a turmeric, so it makes it really, really orange and purple colored, which is, is that characteristic of the Jamaican beef patty, it's, is the orange. Uh, I actually made these before. I was craving these really badly after I saw a video on them, so I was like, how can I make these so, you know, I don't have too many issues with you know my liver and everything so that dough mixes together really easily it's a minute it's it's really perfect you know i worked out this recipe for a little while so this is going to be easy to handle it's not going to fall apart and is it vegan well it's made by frank tofano so it's not vegan but technically if you don't put the honey in here it's vegan there you go, boys. Frankie's helping. Well, it's a beef patty, so I'm not helping the vegans that much. We got our dough ready, onion sauteing, everything nice and quick because at this point in my life, I, you know, I was supposed to have some tanned Russian girl feeding me grapes while I lay in my red satin lined golden uh, throne or whatever. I don't know. Point is, right, onions got a little bit of color on them. Yeah, you could do, you know, the BS, like 45 minute, two hour caramelized onions. I've never made those in my life because I've never had the patience. Onions in the food processor. We're gonna take maybe half a pound of the ground beef raw in there with the onions and the rest of the ground beef we're gonna put in the onion pan and we're seasoning it with plenty of salt. The umami blend seasoning. You know, break up the ground beef as much as you can but when we get it in the bowl later, then we'll go through it with our hands to make sure it's a nice and consistent film. So back on the heat. Uh, now in the blender, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of coconut milk to help it get together. So here we have a raw meat and onion paste, which actually turned out better than I anticipated. This reminds me of when we did the Swedish meatballs and the filling tasted so good I was just eating it. Yeah, this, this you put this on some like toasted sourdough bread. Oh, delicious. Uh, I forgot what country it is, but this reminds me also of where they take the raw onions and the raw pork and they eat it on like brown bread. Just uh, raw meat's very tasty on its own. Now I think this is 
way too much filling for the dough. I, th I think this is probably maybe actually twice as much as we need, but we'll see. What you could do is you could make some beef patties with the ground beef, smash them into the pan, get it somewhat caramelized, and then just mix it all together. That's probably the only way you can caramelize the ground beef without overcooking it too much. So the ground beef is mostly cooked through, little pink, and you know, when you cook ground beef well done, it also doesn't digest that well. I'm gonna drain this liquid off so we don't get it in the filling, and we're just gonna put it in the bowl. All right, now I got some gloves on so I don't burn my hands as badly, but this is still really hot. So we have our raw meat onion paste. So I accidentally made an ugly one with the camera off and you definitely want to put this in the fridge and that in the fridge for like an hour because uh, it, it's not a good consistency to work with. The dough is like falling apart, the filling is a little too hot, but I'm impatient and hungry so we're going to try to make it work. It could also be because we don't have eggs in this. And you know, that makes the dough kind of rip apart a lot easier because there's no proteins to, to keep it together. So I'm gonna try to keep this a little thicker. And we're gonna put in the filling. Nice like that. And then just fold it over. So when you have a somewhat empanada shape, the traditional way to do this is take a fork and go down really well and, and connect it. Now you wouldn't have to do this as you know strongly if, again, you had eggs in the dough, but since we don't, we wanna be, make sure to really, really seal it. And then I'll just flip this over onto the other tray. So look, you know, th this isn't perfect, it's not textbook, but this is the healthy, high quality ingredient recipe channel. I'm not spending 20 minutes to try to make the perfect beef empanada. Maybe uh, the food dude that does my cookbook in the future can do that for now. This will cut it. We're gonna pop this in the oven, 375, maybe, I don't know, 20 minutes. Uh, there's a lot of oil in this dough, so I'm not gonna brush anything on it. We're just gonna cook it through. Yeah, that's at least twice as much filling as you need. So you know, I could save this and make some more dough in the future. So I'll just pop it in here, keep an eye on it, and as soon as it starts browning, we'll take it out. All right, so it's been maybe 20 minutes and then I put it on high broil for about five minutes just to get a nice brown crisp on top. And those look really, really good. Leaking a little bit on the bottom, I guess I forgot to poke holes in it. But outside of that, really, really nice. So I'm gonna pop these in the freezer and we'll wait a little bit. All right, it's been about 10 minutes and these are actually perfect. I still feel they're hot on the inside, but the outside is cool enough to the touch. As you guys know, my diet's pretty bland, so I'm very excited to uh, dig into this. And I think I did an excellent job of making these for once. Look at that. That's like perfect. That's amazing. Smells ridiculous. No eggs, no dairy. It's, it's practically vegan. You have to try this. Don't put too much filling though. This is a, uh, it's called a Jamaican beef patty. Oh dear God, I remember those. What do you mean you remember them? I used to have them a long time ago. I ate like a bad experience from a Jamaican beef patty. When what, at a gas station? No, I was at this restaurant and I should say. Why did you, how did you order a Jamaican beef patty? I, was I think I was at a restaurant like with Spark or something and I, I should say, it blew up my, uh. Okay. <laughs> bad experience. Here we go. Hopefully, let's see if this works. Mmm. It's good. I like this. It's so good. This is really delicious, but 
Yeah, little plain. You could add some mushrooms in there. I think pureeing some like caramelized mushrooms in with that uh, raw beef paste might make it really, really, really good. Mm. Definitely some uh, tweaking to be messed around with, but my sister mm. likes it. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. You want to have that? Mm. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully you've liked this recipe. And if there's any lovely Caribbean ladies located near you, New York, uh, you know how to reach me. Uh, so if you guys can go to frank com, you can support me through all my businesses. We have the ground beef on Frankie's Free Range Meat. We have Flex Strokes we just launched uh, this week on Frankie's Free Range Foods. Check everything out. It's all on frank com, guys. But I'll see you guys for tomorrow. See you tomorrow. And please, ladies, please date my brother. Please, I beg of you. <laughs>